Hi children, welcome back. Hope you all are fine. In the previous activities, interest is calculated one time in the year and this interest is added to the principal. Thus, we found out the principal for the second year. Today, we are going to learn another way of calculating interest. There are schemes in which interest is added every six months instead of every year. It is called half yearly compounding. And there are also schemes in which interest is compounded every three months. Such a method is called quarterly compounding. In a year, there are two half years and four quarter years. Let's do an example. Ambili deposited 12,000 rupees in a bank, which pays interest compounded half yearly. The annual rate of interest is 8%. How much would she get back after one and a half years? There are three half years in one and a half years. Okay, the annual interest rate is 8%. So the rate for six months is 4%. The first half year's principal is 12,000 rupees. So the first half year's interest is equal to 12,000 into 4 by 100. That is equal to 480 rupees second half year's principal is equal to 12,000 plus the interest rate that is 480 that is equal to 12,480 rupees second half year's interest is equal to 12,480 into 4 by 100 that is equal to 499.20 rupees that is equal to 499 rupees and 20 paise third half year's principal is equal to 12480 plus 499.20 that is equal to 12979.20 rupees Third half year's interest is equal to 12,979.20 into 4 by 100. That is equal to 519.168 rupees. Amount she gets back after one and a half years is equal to 12,979.20 plus 519.168. That is equal to 13,498.368 rupees. This can be calculated directly using the formula P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raise to N. Using the formula, let's do it directly. Amount she gets back after one and a half years is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raise to N. Here P is equal to 12,000. R is equal to 4% and N is equal to 3. By applying the numbers to the formula, we get 12,000 into 1 plus 4 by 100 whole raised to 3. That is equal to 12,000 into 104 divided by 100 the whole raised to 3. That is equal to 12,000 into 104 into 104 into 104 divided by 100 into 100 into 100 that is equal to 0 and the zeros get cancelled and the remaining answer is 13,498.368 rupees that is equal to 13,498 rupees Using this idea, let's do a question in your textbook, page number 103. Arun deposited 5,000 rupees in a bank which compounds interest half yearly. And Mohan deposited the same amount in another bank which compounds interest quarterly. The annual rate of interest is 6% at both the banks. How much more would Mohan get after one year? Here the yearly interest rate is equal to 6%. 
half yearly interest rate is equal to 3% and quarterly interest rate is 1.5%. In a year there are two half years and four quarter years. So let's find out the amount which Arun got after one year. Amount he gets back after one year is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raised to N. Here P is equal to 5000, R is equal to 3% and N is equal to 2. That is equal to 5000 into 1 plus 3 by 100 the whole raised to 2. That is equal to 5000 into 103 divided by 100 the whole raised to 2 which is equal to 5000 into 103 into 103 divided by 100 into 100 that is equal to 5304.50 that is 5305 rupees Let's find the amount Mohan gets back after one year. So, amount he gets back after one year is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 the whole raised to N. Here P is equal to 5000 and R is equal to quarterly. So, 1.5% and N is equal to 4. That is equal to 5000 into 1 plus 1.5 divided by 100 the whole raised to 4 which is equal to 5000 into 101.5 into 101.5 into 101.5 into 101.5 divided by 100 into 100 into 100 into 100 that is equal to 5000 306.8 that is equal to 5307 rupees so the more amount Mohan got is equal to 5307 minus 5305 that is equal to 2 rupees like this try to find out the answers of these questions in your textbook page number 103 and 104 that's all for today. Thank you.